Cabinet Secretary asks all ministries dealing with drought situation to release additional funds to states as soon as the finance bill gets approved. Decision taken after meeting with Chief Secretaries of States and Secretaries of Ministries. Also calls for an integrated and coordinated action plan by Centre in States for Water Conservation ahead of monsoon. Absconding with charges of loan default worth 9,000 crore rupees, Vijay Malia resigns from Rajya Sabha a week after the Ethics Committee of Parliament recommended his suspension and sought an explanation from him. Rajya Sabha witnesses several disruptions over Augusta Westland issue. Proceedings in house suspended several times. Questioning of former Air Force Chief S. P. Tyagi by the CBI in connection with alleged kickbacks in the matter to continue today. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar to present details about the scam in the Parliament on Wednesday. In Italian Marines' case, UN Arbitral Tribunal recognizes authority of the Supreme Court of India. In its order, the tribunal says Supreme Court of India should fix bail conditions of Sergeant Giron. Tribunal also says that while Giron may go to Italy during arbitration, he will remain under authority of the Supreme Court and should return to India if the tribunal finds that India has jurisdiction over him. Supreme Court to resume hearing on Centre's appeal against order of Uttarakhand High Court with set aside imposition of President's rule in the state. President Pranam Mukherjee to give away the 63rd National Film Awards in New Delhi today. Minister for Finance and Information and Broadcasting, Arun Jaitley, and Minister of State for INB, Colonel Rajavardhan Rathore, will also be present on the occasion. Supreme Court agrees to hear today petitions by some states and private medical colleges seeking permission to continue with their separate tests for admissions in MBBS and BDS courses. Forest fire in Uttarakhand have been brought under control with the number of places affected by the blaze coming down from 1,200 to 60. Environment Minister Prakash Javrekar said on Monday that four people have been arrested for allegedly igniting fire in Pori. A bill to allow transfer of captive mines from one allotty to another without auction was passed by Parliament, a move that will enable banks and financial institutions to sell stressed assets to recover debts. Mines Minister Narendra Singh Tomar said in Rajya Sabha that the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Amendment Bill 2016 is in the larger interest of workers and that the provision was not intended to benefit any industrial house. Government is now focusing on creating employment opportunities in villages under Digital India. Telecom and Information Technology Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad in an exclusive interview with DD News said that very soon blueprint of BPU services in villages would be brought to the fore which is expected to generate jobs for lakhs of rural folk. Temperatures soar in various states of the country. Hottest day of the season recorded in Delhi. Mercury crosses the 45-degree mark. No relief in Telangana from scorching heat. Death toll in the state reaches 178. Even in Jammu, the mercury touched a maximum of 42.4 degrees Celsius. An international team of scientists said that they have discovered a trio of Earth-like planets that are the best bet so far for finding life outside the solar system. Discovery of the three planets that circle a small dim star could bolster the chances of finding life beyond Earth. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's Urs or birth anniversary celebrations to begin at Taj Mahal in Agra. This is the only time of the year when the graves of the royal couple at Taj Mahal are open for the public. Entry to Taj Mahal will be free for three days. Leicester City have won their maiden English Premier League title with two games to spare after Tottenham Hotspur were held to a 2-2 draw at Chelsea. It's the first top-tier title for Leicester in the club's 132-year-old history. The club is only the sixth since 1992 to win the battle. World Press Freedom Day is being celebrated today. 3rd of May celebrates the fundamental principles of press freedom to evaluate press freedom around the world, to defend the media from attacks on their independence and to pay tribute to journalists who have lost their lives in the exercise of their profession.